Hey everyone. It's been a while since I've posted an update. I wanted to do things a little bit differently this time. I'll be showcasing my, my progress on real hardware and using a new device that I recently acquired. It's an ODE that was created by Fixel, who is a member of the 3DO community. It's an amazing device. It allows me to run tests very often now and very easily. I no longer need to burn a disc every time I test something on hardware. And uh, it's, it's less heartburn uh, later. I can test more frequently now and have less surprises later. It's important to me that everything that I build for the 3DO, for any console, runs on hardware. And so I, I test frequently, so it's, it's great. If you want to learn more about it, there's information in the description. Another thing that is a bit different is that this time I'll be showing you a full playable demo that you can, you can download and you can try yourself. So if you'd like to give it a shot and give me some feedback, uh, that'd be great. I have a working title for this project finally. It is a uh, zombie-based game, a first-person shooter zombie-based campaign style game. The zombies are not traditional, however, they're a little different but I uh, don't want to spoil it. Uh, there is a story that I created, and the way that uh, this will work is that the levels will have these journals. These journals will piece together kind of what's going on, and, and you'll be able to put the story together as you play through. The working title is Biofury, and um, if you want to give this a try, there's a link in the description. Um, give, it a, give it a shot. So with that said, let's get this started. By the way, this ODE loads substantially quicker um, from the splash screen, that one there, to the start of the demo. It's roughly eight seconds or so versus about 14 seconds when I tested it earlier today on the Office CD. Yeah, so quick. Um, by the way, all the graphics that you see and all the audio that you'll hear, it's all custom for this specific game. Uh, so I'm not recycling any assets anymore, which is exciting. The only exception is um, are the fonts that I'm using. You know, uh, I grabbed that from uh, where I could um, as I've been learning more about 3DO. But uh, aside from the fonts, everything is, is truly custom. So we'll pick up this first journal here. Maybe it'll give us a clue. And I won't read these out loud, but I'll give you time to read it if you're interested in reading that. So, a bit of a mystery there. A little bit of information, a little clue. Looks like we're in some kind of laboratory. We got some analytics. We got some mysterious goop here. That never that's never good. Some laboratory notes. So a bit grim and illegal sounding, very illegal sounding. <laughs> All right. Controls feel a lot better now, by the way. And I have the benefit of knowing where all the, the baddies are. That was a little slab zombie. And so you're probably wondering, why does a zombie have a gun? Uh, these are not your typical zombies, and that looked like a guard zombie. Pick up a key card. I 
I have a little secret here. Now this takes us back to the beginning area, so a bit convenient. We have our red key. It's possible to crit in this game. Um, if you crit with the shotgun, it's a, it's a one-shot kill. Initially, the, the enemies were able to crit, but I removed it because it just got insanely difficult. So there was a long distance crit there. Distance doesn't matter with critting. You can still get lucky. I really like these textures here. Ooh, crit there too. Look at that. Take that. I'll show you what it looks like when these guys attack. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, so um, pretty neat. I hope uh, you know you give it a try and, and let me know what you think. Uh, the good thing is that. With the tools that I've created for this project, it doesn't take long at all to put levels together. Um, I made a lot of improvements to the editor, and right now I'm finalizing a new weapon, some new enemies, and I'll be able to then create some of the, um, you know, the other levels to stitch together. There aren't going to be a whole lot of levels, maybe 10 or 12, but uh, the levels are going to get a bit longer um, as they increase. And it shouldn't take too long once I have um, all the the rest of the assets created. Assets take time. You know, it's not just programming, but it's it's coming together. Um, one of the big improvements that I made was optimization. So you know, a couple videos back, I think I was running at around 14 frames per second. Um, right now, I'm running between between 24 to 31 and uh, averaging around 27 to 29 frames per second, significantly better. Um, just getting rid of a lot of math that I was able to eliminate, um, you know, especially divisions, uh, using lookup tables, doing a lot of shifting, uh, some loop unrolling, and just kind of being, uh, you know, trying to find where I can squeeze performance. And uh, it, it feels a lot smoother now, and the movement feels pretty good because I, you know, before I was regulating the frame rate, to a, to a, to a a count that I could hit, and that was that was giving me consistent movement, but it was a bit choppy. Uh, so what I ended up doing was rewriting all of that. Uh, now the engine will receive; it will pass along elapsed time between frames to all of the logic handlers, and the logic handlers can use that elapsed time to scale movement or to scale whatever it's trying to scale. So if it's taking, you know. One frame is running a bit longer than it should. Well, the next frame is going to realize that because the elapsed time is going to be a little, little bit bigger, and it's going to factor into the math um, and scale appropriately. If things are running quicker, well, then your scale is smaller, and so the overall it, it feels a lot better. And uh, just a bunch of other miscellaneous updates, like you can see the hit markers. Uh, a little bit of updating to the AI. I did some code refactoring. Um, so yeah, it's coming together. I think from here it's it's pretty much downhill with, with all that I've created. And um, hopefully here pretty soon I'll be able to, to share the, the final full game. And again, give this a shot if you're interested. Let me know what you think. And I hope you enjoyed it. So, talk to you soon.